The propaganda show called Cops, where a camera crew follows police officers, constables, sheriff's deputies, federal agents, and state troopers during patrols and other police activities, is one of the most desensitizing campaigns ever run against the American people, in my opinion. With its first airing on March 11th, 1989, it's one of the longest running television programs in United States history. Viewed from the perspective of liberty, it can easily be seen as a public relations psyop conditioning the minds of the masses to accept police force and brutality on the American public as acceptable, necessary, and even entertaining and heroic. Well, YouTube recently recommended this episode uploaded by the Real Responders channel entitled Undercover Cops Dress as Clowns to Catch Suspects. And I'm sure the irony is not lost on those who know what police departments are all about. In the description under this video, we read, Officers set up a sting operation to go undercover as Coco the Clown to catch suspects soliciting and paying for sex. The disguise works and the undercover cops are able to catch multiple suspects. Elsewhere, officers patrol the parade and deal with disruptive members of the public. And that would be on Bourbon Street in Louisiana. We're not gonna talk about that part though. Now, I don't know what you think about prostitution. I personally think it's gross and would never participate in it. But maybe some of my other fellow Americans would, and maybe they don't think it's gross. But isn't the foundation of this country supposed to be built on life, liberty, property, and the pursuit of happiness? Who am I to determine what should make you happy and what should make you unhappy? If two consenting adults want to arrange a transfer of wealth for a rendered service, has a crime been committed? And if it is true that two adults agreed to certain terms, what do you call a third party who, in an unwanted fashion, intervenes in that arrangement and physically apprehends and attacks a consenting party? Obviously, I can't show you extended clips of this particular segment because they'll copyright it. But in this first scene, Officer Tom Paisley from the Tampa Police Department Special Operations Division is painted up to become Coco the Clown. Sergeant Mark Hamlin takes the lead at an early afternoon briefing and about a dozen cops hit the road for this sting operation where they attempt to attract and entrap women walking the streets. Prostitution is a huge quality of life problem for us. We have to be creative in solving them, not only with the Johns, but also the, the prostitutes as well. Again, just to make things clear, these cops have devised a plan. Not to stop crime that produces real victims. They're intentionally going out there to bust women who are probably at the lowest point in their lives. So low that they're willing to do things to strangers that they normally probably wouldn't do. But let's be real here. These women are not out there robbing stores. They're not snatching purses. They're not breaking into homes. They're just walking the streets to provide a service to anybody who wants to voluntarily engage with them. So their first victim, and I do mean victim, is this woman. <laughs> so uh, how about a little clown action, huh? This whole thing is pretty sick. It's like the predators have pulled up into the neighborhood looking for easy prey, putting on a show to attract the simple-minded, drugged out, downtrodden women who are at the end of their rope trying to scrape together enough money for food and whatever fix they can get to bring some kind of joy to their miserable lives. So Officer Paisley puts on this believable act, and believe me, it is believable, and is able to get this woman to agree to terms for money. Once she agrees to the creepy clown's terms, he gives a signal and all his blue line buddies come out of the woodwork and swarm in to make the arrest. But they're not out there arresting a dangerous kidnapper or a mass murderer or even a shoplifter. They're out there to take this woman who hasn't harmed anybody 
to a nasty prison cell where the tax cattle will have to take care of her till she's released back out on the streets to do the same thing again. She won't be helped. The city won't be better off. But these cops will be able to add one more person to the prison industrial complex roles. And isn't that really what it's all about? It's about all these cops' delusional belief that they're adding value to society. Now watch how Officer Paisley rolls up on the next victim. It's pretty creepy. Hello. How's it going, baby? Hello, baby! Shut <laughs> <laughs> then he does as we've seen cops are trained to do. He lies so he can set the hook deeper. Cook of the clowns a cop? Cook of the clowns. No police officer. This woman says she won't charge anything. She'll do it for free because she just wants to have fun. And if the guy wants, maybe she can borrow 20 bucks from him. To which Sergeant Mark Hamlin says... She says she'll do it for free. That's a lewdness case. Offer to commit lewdness. Paisley gives the signal and the big, burly, not cowardly at all dudes who are not out there fighting real crimes swoop down on this small, skinny woman with a show of force and take her to the ground. What heroes. Now, think about this for a second. How desperate do you have to be and how low do you have to have gone that you would get into a car with a psycho guy dressed as a clown? And yet, at this all-time low, instead of helping these poor, desperate women, they entrap them, gang up on them, and take away their freedom. And the grave irony in this whole thing is that prostitutes actually provide a service that at least benefits the willing participant while the law enforcement profession, these welfare recipient thugs, are involved in interfering in the lives of people who aren't harming other people. In the next segment on this video, they do a reverse operation by putting female cops on the street, playing the role of prostitute, where they entrap this truck driver and this older guy who's just trying to buy a good time in the time he has left on this earth. So tell me, how does it benefit society to lock up people who have harmed no one? Is prostitution really a crime? And if it is a crime, who are the victims? If two adults make a consensual voluntary arrangement, is it really anybody else's business what they do as they pursue their idea of happiness under life, liberty, and the pursuit of that happiness? What are you doing? I'll leave the link to the original video in the description. If you think I'm wrong about my assessment here, let me know in the comments. Remember, freedom is dangerous. It's scary. Sometimes it's gross and disgusting. But the thing more dangerous, more scary, and more gross and disgusting is not having freedom. If you like this video, maybe you'll like some of my others. Check out my most popular playlist. There are a lot of videos there that you probably haven't seen that are very relevant, just as relevant today as they were when I made them. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to this channel, hit the bell notification icon, give it a thumbs up, share it with everybody you know. Don't forget to subscribe to my private email list through my website, highimpactflix.com. If you want to support the channel further, the links are in the description. You can also grab a hard-hitting conversation starting design. You can put on a shirt, hoodie, mug, cell phone case, hat, whatever you want. I'll see you in the next video.